Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. Giving you the truth. Not an agent. Not trying to depopulate. You don't got nothing against none of you. My job is just to present truth. And on this channel, you get the truth on all subjects. So if you want me to pinpoint, you're probably on the wrong channel. I talk about a little bit of everything. And on this particular broadcast, I want to talk about seven ways you know your wife is punking you, is dominating you, is getting over on you. That, that's The title is going to be along those lines. But I want to talk to you about, and I wrote this down because I had to write this down. Yeah. 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 Had to write this down because I've experienced this with some of my friends and I also experienced some of these things during my simp days and before and just so you know yeah I watch a lot of the stuff on YouTube but a lot of my relationship videos are based on prayer and things that the most high revealed the most high revealed that men are supposed to be men you're supposed to dominate you're not even supposed to deal with and trying to stay with a woman that's dominating you. Because remember, the head of every man is God. I talk to you about that a lot. The head of every man is God. So you say, well, I'm just staying for the kids. No. What about the most high? What about God the most high? The true God. What about him? Because he's looking at you like, uh, why are you taking upon yourself another God? Because that's exactly what you're doing when you letting these women dominate you. What, you scared to lose her? You scared to lose her? Listen, you're supposed to treat your wife good, but your wife is supposed to stay in her place. You suppose, If she gets out of line, you, you either stop dealing with her or you get her back in line. If you can't get her back in line, then, you know, you're gonna have to do something. You have to leave, leave her alone. Side Nationals Park last night, resulting in a. You have to leave her alone. So I got seven things here. A lot of you dudes, you know, you go from being cool with somebody to not being cool with them, cause your wife will say something like, "I don't want you hanging with him," because if he, if he shining a light on her poor behavior, her immaturities. I don't want you hanging with him. Why are you still dealing with him? Not that he getting you in trouble. He get to shining the light on her. Why are you still dealing with him? And so now you getting, you getting rid of your homies, your partners, your dogs, your boys, your brothers. I don't even get into what they used to call me back before uh, the Most High. But see, it's been revealed that a lot of my ways and trains of thought when it came to women were actually in line. And I have a housewife. I buy my wife gifts. I don't I don't mistreat her, but at the same time, listen, I'm I'm the man. I'm the man, and, and there will be war without fists. I know how to wage war. Mentally, I know how to. Listen, y'all storming off from y'all wives. She won. If you are not in a definite wrong, why are you storming off? She won. She's dominating you. Seven things. Number one, if she controls who you are friends with, Slash who you associate with. Now I got I have former friends, I don't even consider them friends no more. Who I've literally saved their lives. I literally jumped in their fights, all types of things. They unfriend me on Facebook over things that I said that their wives did not like. If she controls who you associate with, who you friends with, you getting punked. You're getting dominated. 
Number two, if she controls where you work and how you make your money. Like you do be like, well, 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 you know, the wife say, the wife say, the wife say, you know. No, I ain't going to do that, man. I ain't going to do that. The wife want me to do this. The wife want me to do that. Is that the best thing? Is that the wealth? Is that what is going to have your kids in the best position? You working a toxic job. You going home snapping on your wife and kid. But my wife want me to stay here. Of course she does. Of course she does because she's emotional and she don't want to take any chances, most of them. Not all, most of them. They don't be wanting to take no, they don't be wanting to step out on them waters. Number three, if she dictates when you and her have or do not have sex. Now listen, especially if you used to be a player before you got married. So now basically, you went from player to puppet. You you went from player to puppet. Now you in the bathroom. We ain't, we ain't gonna say it. You know what I'm talking about. And she see your phone with porn and she like oh, miss one sex a day or miss one sex a month as checking you, you, you and her, you supposed to be like, drop them. Oh man, I gotta act. Oh, you've been saying that the last three weeks, drop them. I ain't doing nothing. Okay, all right, all right. You know what? I'll get somebody else to do it. I'll get somebody else. You don't want to do it? I'll get somebody else to do it. Because you don't want to, you know. And then she'll be talking about you to her friends when she calls your engine to lock up, if you know what I'm talking about. Not starting the car. The engine going to lock up. You're going to need a charge. We, we talking, you know. Number four, if you are scared to look at a woman in front of her. Now, out of respect... You shouldn't be staring, gazing at no woman in front of your wife. But you are a man and you're going to see stuff you like. I went through this little phase, going, getting chewed out for that. In the past, I'm not going to just sit there and be like, hey, man. For one, I'm not giving nobody that satisfaction. For two, especially if my wife is right there out of respect, I'm not going to do no crap like that. But she ain't going to dictate what I look at. These my eyes. Out of respect, I won't. But she ain't dictating. And that's how you got to be. Number five, if you have not checked in her double standard. She uh, friends at work, her work husband, this, that, 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 blah, blah, blah. Leaned up. You go to a party with her. Every time you look up, she talking to this guy, talking to that guy. But the minute you say anything to a woman, you're getting punked. And I know guys like this, man. Their wife is dominating them. They, they, they got like one of the, them two, you know, them two, two uh, sperm holders. It's practically all the way up here in his chest because of his wife. She about to rip it out and throw it off, you know. <laughs> I be trying to censor myself. But a lot of you guys getting emasculated by your wife. Number six, if she controls what power moves you makes, you make. This goes in line with number two. A lot of y'all live in crime-infested cesspool bomb cities. When I get ready to move, I'm moving. Whether my wife is ready or not, I did it once. I'll do it again because my kids need to be around kids who are, their minds are on things that are not bad or not, not, not that bad. Like, if they playing shooter games, that's not the worst thing in the world. At least they ain't trying to steal cars. But anyway... Number seven, last but not least, if you both work and you spend 
way more of your money on her and the way she wants than she does on you and the way you want. Y'all need to stop pedalizing, pedestalizing women. You married man, the head of every woman is the man. Stop pedestalizing her. You can treat her good. You can buy her gifts, take her on vacation, this and that. Stop pedestalizing. Stop pedestalizing her. Pedestalize the most high. You spend more time trying to please her than you do trying to please God. And that is a sin. You're supposed to love him with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. And all these people, you ain't supposed to care what they think. You think I care who see me making these videos? You don't got to watch them. And that's all I had on this one. Seven ways to show that your wife, girlfriend, whatever, if she's soon to be your wife, if she's trying to dominate you right now, you, you, need, you got a lot of thinking to do, my man. Seven ways that women and wives are punking their husbands. I don't know what the title going to be, but it's going to be somewhere along them line. Make sure you share it. Put it on your Facebook, Instagram, whatever you got to do. Because these guys are being, they are shell of the man. Y'all know guys is a shell of the man they were before they got married. That has to change. You sitting here getting fat because your insecure wife don't want you to go to the gym. Man, get out of here with that. It's partially you, though. You probably don't want to go. But anyway, thanks for watching. I got another video coming on a whole different subject, y'all. So just make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you can get the notifications. We can get up to 1,000 subscribers, and we could get real deep in these lives.